She just got it. What do you think, babe? I love it. Speak up, speak up. I love it. Ride two of preparation for Ragbri. We are trying to see how far we can make it to Shoshone Falls today. Last time we came out here, there was snow covering the path. We're hoping it's cleared up a little, but we did just get a couple inches of snow earlier this week, so we'll see. But we have a special guest on our ride today, and I think it's pretty safe to say he is loving it. He is loving He's it. Killing it. <laughs> Check out this setup for Spencer. Hi, Bobo. Did you see other doggies? We made it to Shoshone Falls. The ice and snow were all clear, but there's no water on the falls. Either way, our new longest distance for a ride will be 12 miles by the time we get back. A little over 12 by the time we get back. And we might do more. Yeah. Uh, I'm filming. I can't switch gears. Uh, what is it? All right, it's been a great day biking. Spencer, <laughs> Spencer's all hyped up right now because he saw a groundhog going crazy, digging a hole, and now he's hyped up, ready to hunt. Otherwise, it's been great. This is Carrie's first day on her e-bike other than in the parking lot at the store we bought it at. Uh, we'll probably hit about 15 miles, and I think it's going excellent. We have like four or five months before Ragbri, and she's not using the e-battery that much, so I think we're gonna be set when it comes to the day. Spencer did exceptionally well riding in the front. I mean, he's literally having the time of his life. Ride one, I'm on your bike. Ride two, we're riding by. What are we doing? We are, I don't know, some trail that goes past Auger Falls and, and the canyon. I think this is bike ride number five, maybe six, five? I think number five for us together. Training for rag ride, but we're looking at the beautiful views and we're about to head up towards a hill here. Right over there. So we have a beautiful view and we're on a bridge, but no, no trespassing. I thought the road could keep going and I guess not. We'll have to find a different route real quick. So we're getting some amazing views. Unfortunately, the road we thought would go for another few miles was locked, said no trespassing. So apparently it's a private road. So we're gonna backtrack and see what else we can get into here. Ready for an adventure. On a bit of a climb right here. A little bit taxing. Hey. E power. I'd say I don't think that's carry power. If you haven't cut on, Carry has an e-bike. Hit another no trespassing sign. We're out here trying to get like 20 plus miles, and I think we may, if we get 10, we'll be lucky. But it's beautiful. Happy our bikes can handle this terrain because it definitely makes it more fun. So today we drove out to Auger Falls to try to ride some miles down the canyon. We got about two miles in, and there was a no trespassing sign up on the road, so we didn't get very far. 
But we got to ride along the river. We tried our first um, single track mountain bike trail that didn't go so well. But you nevertheless, not quite ready for it. Yeah. We got in 11 miles total. We got to ride by the river, have a snack by the river. It was a beautiful day. Yeah, and uh, I think we have some great shots of our training that we got in. It was all gravel the whole time. What did we get? 10 miles? 11 miles. 11 miles total. And uh, the whole time, the elevation is like 2,900 to, to 3,000 feet. So I feel like that's kind of helpful. We got some seat time. Yes. That's what counts. Yes. So we're packing up to head home. It's about 1.45 in the afternoon, 70 degrees. It's been a great day. <laughs>